Alright, well, right. Good I'll, I'll, stuff. Mate, you on? Yeah, good. yeah. It's, looking good, Miles. Actually recording. I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Do you look okay? Did an interview the other day, White Lies. After that, done the whole interview, forgot to press record. God damn it. Oh, no. Shouldn't stop with that. Anyway, yeah. Yeah. Miles, pleasure to meet you. Hold well on, I'm flying low. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, I mean, 24 years old. You've you had a career that most people would be proud of, you know, uh, you know, at the end of a career, you know, four reincarnations, you had um, Little Flames, Rascals, obviously, and um, Large Shadow Puppets. Yeah. Now, what, Yeah, I why? feel like it's just a start, man, do you know what I mean? And I, I know I've done things and, you know, obviously this, the puppets is, is fucking amazing, man, and great success. It's taste that, it's, it's, it's fucking amazing, but I feel with this, I, I, I feel like I'm just sort of starting out. I know I've done a lot, but I'm 24 now, and I feel this is, you've found your feet, do you know what I mean? And this is it now. So what with, the, with the, the new album, what are you, yeah. uh, you know, what are you trying to sort of the, get across? I don't know, the, the, the new record is just, it's great, you know, I've been doing it. When did I start? I started it about a year and a half ago. Did it make me first, you know, when the Rascal split up and then, Wrote these like new tunes, and then Columbia got involved, and they backed me from day one. It was thank you, for, you know, to them. They've been great. And then did my first week of recording with Griff Reese. Yeah. And yeah. we recorded two tracks for the record there, and he sort of because after doing all the touring from what I've been doing, and then to go from not, and then then you were like on your own, and you, you I've always been in a band environment, or when I do the puppets, I've got my best mate there, and that's, yeah, you know, yeah. so you've always sort of got someone there. So at first it was. It was a bit, you know, like when you got to write all these tunes and like you were like a bit like, it was daunting, do you know what I mean? I'm not going to lie, it was daunting. Like, a bit like, fucking hell, this is going to be good. I don't know, do you know what I mean? Because you, you know, when you write tunes on the acoustic, they all sound sort of the same, do you know what I mean? And I was like, I want to fucking have it, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, uh, so doing my first week of recording with Griff and Craig Sylvie, we recorded two tunes for the record, one called The King Crawler and one called Take the Night From Me. And then when we did that, I was, and they sounded great, I was like, wow, this this is amazing, do you know what I mean? And then, and then so went on, wrote more songs, did the, made the record and... You always write them on, on your own? Yeah, songs, yeah, yeah more own. or less, or like, but then the ideas sort of always sort of change, you know what I mean? When you get in the studio, like, I, if you write a tune or an idea, it can be, I'll do it fast or slow. Do you know what I mean? And then yeah, yeah. see what sort of fits best, see what everyone's saying, do you know what I mean? So the producer says, or you know, see what feels right. Like a lot of the tunes on there, they could have gone either way really, do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Did you choose yeah. sort of Graf uh, to, to work with? Yeah, it was, I'd met him um, at the Mercury Awards, when me and Al were up for that, uh, a couple of years ago. And I've, al I've always been a fan, do you know what I mean? And, yeah, and yeah. he's just a lovely lad, and um, we just got chatting and you know, pissed. We were like, oh, it'd be great to do something together one day, do you know what I mean? Then we followed it up, and I'd love to do more. You know? Superb. Yeah. And uh, is he working on the whole album? Or? He's just done, he sort of say co produced with Craig Sylvie two tracks on the record, and then we did a bit of writing together on this one called Quicksand. Which is a real sort of poppy one. It's got like a ba 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 <laughs> in it, and and then he's done a bit of backing on a couple of others. Yeah. And with the you know the, the live experience and that, so we had yeah. the uh, the water rats the other day. Great show. Oh right, right, yeah. You should, we did this fucking mind blowing one in the bar fly on Saturday yeah. for yeah. XFM. We had a stage invasion. Yeah. Because I thought that water rat one was quite you know reserved. Yeah, but yeah. but it, but it was press about. Yeah, it was one of them <laughs> on it, but. It's uh, still a good gig though, but and uh, we did this one Saturday and it was fucking mad, it was like stage invasion and uh, yeah. everyone was sort of having it. You know. so, but how did you get the band together then? You know, the, to... Sorry, yeah, to answer to your question. Uh, the band, uh, they're all my mates, sort of. Um, Jay I've known for a, a good while, the drummer. Uh, Eugene I've known for a couple of years, just from, he, you know, he lives down, he'd been to a few gigs and blah, blah. And then Phil, bass player I met, through me old flatmate, they went to school together and he plays a Cherry Ghost and then he knew Ben the keyboard guy so we just all sort of got together one day, I'd sent them the tunes and they'd learnt them all and it was like this is great you know? and it looks and sounds like a band as well which is important to me, do you know what yeah, I mean? no, no, even though it's me, your name and I'm 
going out there promoting it, but to have that around me is so important and it's great, you know. Nothing else, superb. And the video, video was? Have you, um, did you come out of the face low in the video, uh, the new one? Come closer, it was the, obviously you get loads of treatments, don't you, for videos, and Dan, who did the video, uh, his treatment was um, like Mean Streets, which is my favourite film. Yeah. Like the first De Niro film, yeah, Scorsese. Yeah, yeah. Best opening scene. It's got like Be My Baby, is the opening scene that loved that tune. <laughs> and, uh, and then, so like, I, I just really liked, you know, his sort of treatment. And then, so obviously, we needed a girl in the video. Um, and then there was, there was like, you know, you're getting sent through loads of like, models to look at whatever on email <laughs> which I mean I, I know it's not a fucking hard job but <laughs> it, you know it felt a bit cold or something I don't know you felt where you going no no yes no. you know what I mean God I was going insane and two days before the shoot some guy at the label said what about Daisy Low yeah. I don't know I'd met her once before but he got in touch with her and she was banged up for it and she came and did it and yeah lovely girl how long did the video shoot take? Sort of, uh... It was a. Uh, that was like good all yeah. day and all night sort of thing. We got there about eight nine. No, the about eight in the morning, and I finished about one in the morning. Where was it shot? Uh, in like some working man's club in Islington, I think. Yeah. Good stuff. I should say about? like exactly. New York. <laughs> <laughs> Islington. Yeah, we're from Islington. Yeah. Good place. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, what was it about? And, and the whole like, thing behind the the, um, the idea behind it was to, to make it look as if it was a trailer, you know, for, for a film. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you sort of don't know what's going on, but you, it could be as if it. I mean, it does look like it was from a film. Yeah, it does. And yeah. That tune is sort of would be good as like a for a film, wouldn't it? Really, like you know. Yeah, 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 definitely. So, uh, yeah. I mean, you could follow it up that video weirdly. We had that idea the other day. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it was like yeah, a yeah. story thing, but yeah, that's my well. yeah, way of looking at it. The, um, I mean, at the moment, obviously, you've been promoted as an exciting new talent to, to look for. It seems a bit weird, though, new talent. You've been around yeah. for, what, only 24, but it seems like a long time. And, um, uh, you know, those, those, do you like it, you know, reading like, oh, God, great, they're pushing me for next year, is this good, or is it comes with a bit of daunting sort of, oh, Bet this better work. Yeah, I try not to read it really because it's it's boss. You know, if people want to big you up. It's great, but people can yeah. slag you off as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's it, you know, it's as, as much as you get the good, you get fucking slagged probably as well. Do you know what I mean? Everyone does. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah. just sort of. I'd rather just sort of yeah. ignore it in a way and just sort of. I'm gonna. I've made a great record, and I'm buzzing to be sat here chatting you today about it. You know what I mean? And doing interviews, and I just want to go out there and gig and, and have a good time. And I, I really want to break the charts as well. Yeah, I'm not no, gonna lie. Like, I, I, there's just not enough guitar bands on the radio, radio one, well, and not in the charts at all. I don't know if there's any. Do you know what I mean? At the moment, in the top Certainly 40. not many. And I believe if the record I've made that like, come closer is like pop tune but rock and roll do you know what I mean and I think for the year that's ahead of us and the bands that are like you've got DDI put yeah, yeah, down yeah. you know Monkeys are making a new one Kasabian I've made a great rock and roll record and uh, it, it could be the year for rock and roll and I hope it is for guitar music to get back on the radio and back in the charts because there's not enough of it it's, it's sort of it's getting brushed under at the minute